So this is my new desk setup and my first ever standing desk and I've been really enjoying using this new desk, having the ability to sit and stand whenever I want is great. With that being said, let's go through all of the items I have on my desk. Starting off with the desk itself, this standing desk is from a company called ER Gear, which by the way, this is also their first ever standing desk and I was very excited when they reached out to me to try this new desk. The tabletop comes in this black finish which looks beautiful. They have other colors available such as natural and rustic brown but I went with the black one because it looks so good. The quality is also really good. I've tried many different tabletops in the past and I have to say that this is one of the good ones. And when it comes to the table size, this table measures 140cm long by 70cm wide and it comes in two pieces. I personally would prefer if it came in one whole piece, but once you set up everything, put on the desk mat and all the accessories you have, you won't notice that much. Now let's talk about the controller. It comes with three programmable buttons, which allows you to save three different heights. And on the left side, we have the S button, which is used to save the presets. So all we have to do is to use the up and down button to reach the height that we want to save. Once that's done, we press the S button and then we select the number in which we want to save that particular height. It's super simple. My first button is set to the sitting position. The second one is set to the standing position. And the third one is set to the highest possible height. And I normally use this whenever I need to adjust the cables, which by the way is looking really clean. I'm currently using the IKEA cable tray alongside some cable straps and this combination is quite affordable. You can get 50 of these cable straps for only $3.99 on Amazon and IKEA cable tray for £12, which brings you a total of $15.99 and that's basically all you need to keep your cables organized. Now let's talk about the frame and the motors of this desk. Starting with the frame, the legs can go all the way up to 118 cm and all the way down to 72 cm and this range will fit most people's height. I have noticed that the frame is stable across all the heights with minimal shake. The only thing that shakes quite a bit is my monitor because I'm using a basic monitor arm from Amazon. And when it comes to the motors, according to ER Gear, it was tested 50,000 times when loaded with 80 kilograms, which by the way, this is the maximum loading capacity of this desk including the weight of the desktop. And after all those tests, the motors were still working. So it's safe to say that this desk should last you for a very long time. Now, there are some interesting features about this desk. The first one is called Smart Ant Collision System, which detects obstructions and rebounds to avoid damage to the desk. If for some reason you leave something underneath your desk, or your kid starts playing with your standing desk, this can be quite helpful. The second feature are these two cable access solutions, which you can use to improve your cable management even more. And the third feature are these storage hooks, which you can use to hang your headphones or small bags. Now, after using this desk for a couple of weeks, I can say that I do like using a standing desk. I found that there are tasks that I prefer doing while sat, especially the ones that require high levels of concentration. However, there were other tasks that I really enjoyed doing while standing up, such as writing documents and recording voiceovers, because it felt natural to me. So overall, I think this desk is a good value for your money. And if you are thinking about getting your first standing desk, then in my opinion, this is a great one to start with. So now let's take a look at other items I have on my desk. Starting with my main computer, this is the M1 Mac Mini with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. 
I use this computer to edit my photos, videos, to create design pieces, and it works really well for me. This is the best value for money computer that I ever used. Now, below the M1 Mac Mini, I have the Satoshi USB-C hub. This hub brings all the ports I need to the front of the Mac Mini. Now I can easily insert my SD card, I have the headphone jack, 3 USB ports, 1 USB-C port and even a micro SD port. If you have a Mac Mini, then this accessory is a must. It will make your life so much easier. And when it comes to the monitor, the one I'm using is the LG 32 inches QN600. This is a 1440p resolution display with 75Hz refresh rate, it features HDR10 and covers 99% sRGB color space, which is good for a monitor at this price range. I have been using this monitor for almost 2 years now and I'm super happy with it. I would definitely recommend one. The audio interface I have here is the complete audio tool. I have it connected to my speakers and I also use it to connect to my microphone whenever I need to record voiceovers. The speakers I'm currently using is the Tannoy Gold 5. This is a 5 inch 200 watt speakers which I really love. And keeping these speakers at the right level are these two speaker stands from Kento. It's called Kento S6 and they work really well. Now the mouse and the keyboard that I'm currently using are both from Logitech. The keyboard is the MX keys and after using it for over a year now, I think, I see no reasons to replace it. But something I really want to do is to build my first mechanical keyboard. And I'm looking for something around the same price range as the MX keys. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. The mouse I'm using is the MX Master 3. I already did a review about this mouse, telling how disappointed I was about its performance, because the scrolling wheel wasn't working as it should, but lucky enough I was able to fix that. Now I can say that I'm happy with this product. If you want to know more about my experience using this mouse and how I fixed some of the issues I had with it, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be dropping a new video really soon. Now let's talk about the monitor light. This is the BenQ Screen Bar Hello and it has been a great addition to my desk. I love the fact that I can illuminate the front and the back of the monitor at the same time. And the controller makes it so much easier to make adjustments to the light. I'm also working on a new YouTube video where I will be talking more about this light. So make sure you subscribe. Now the final piece of my desk setup is this gorgeous brown chair that I got from this website called The Work Alley. I have been looking for a new chair for a long time. So I was glad I found this website. The prices are quite accessible, so I decided to give it a try. And honestly, I'm impressed. The quality is there, it's comfortable and it looks great. So I would definitely recommend. Well, that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.